Once upon a time in Essex. I wanted to build a shrine dedicated to an ordinary Essex woman. An artist built a house to tell a woman's story. So who are we here in pilgrimage to? We're in pilgrimage to Julie Cope, an imaginary woman who was born in 1953. The story's made up, but inside the house, you keep forgetting that. These two footprints, this is where Rob, her second husband, was standing when he heard she died, you see. OK. And the policeman came to the door to tell her she'd been killed. So that's where he was standing. She was a rock chick. You know, she was, she was a typical working class girl, bright, but kind of but like many women of her generation, you know, her intelligence was uh, underappreciated by her family. She split from her first husband, Dave, when she was young. And he was the guitarist in a, in a rock band called The Riders of Rohan, because he, he loved the Lord of the Rings. OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She went on to qualify as a social worker with Essex County Council. Later in life, settled down with Rob, an IT consultant. This shrine in the, in the fiction is the Taj, he builds Taj Mahal to his dead wife. I see. And so she was killed by, uh, uh, tragically by a curry delivery moped. This is anti Taui, a cathedral in Essex to ordinary heroism, low key happiness. And is she happy? Yeah, really happy at the yeah. end. And what she realises is that happiness isn't this exotic peak of ecstasy. People think happiness is the, are these over-adrenalised peaks of, of, of ecstasy. Yeah. And happiness is actually... Most people are happiness, you know, with their friends and family, going for a drink, walking the dog, hanging out. That's what a happiness is. It's not bungee jumping. It's yeah. not swimming with dolphins. <laughs> It's not getting married in a foreign country, you know, like people do. They go and have a, rent a castle or something. It's like at home. Yeah. And so this is a shrine to kind of, in some ways it's like a shrine to domesticity as well, you know. When you go through to the kitchen, we go through to the kitchen now. Yeah. I mean, it I, doubles this, this both as functioning house and statement on the function of houses. When I, when I see the march of the wood-clad flat going across London, you know, it's like... That's the, the, it's so unimaginative yeah. what you can do. And I think that you, it would be if people if people could put more narrative and kind of specific local colour into places. I think it would just give people a sense of sort of place, and I think that would really help them enjoy their lives.